I see you picked up your new car today. Happy with it? I think so. I've only driven it from the dealership to here, so it's too early to tell. But based on the test drive of the X-Trail and the other competitor vehicles, I think I've made the right choice. You had a Honda before. What made you switch brands? Nothing, really. I was happy enough with the Civic, but it left a lot to be desired in terms of safety and handling on rough roads. It was fine for the commute to the office at home again. Since we decided on getting an SUV, I figured I would take a look at all the brands and decide which vehicle best met my needs. I really had no brand preference. Interesting that you choose a compact-sized SUV. The last time we talked, you told me you were thinking of buying a, a wagon. Well, I was. But to be honest, most of the cars on the market today are rather ordinary looking, and the performance is nothing to write home about. On top of that, the wagon's unsuitable to take off the road. How that you like to take the family camping and hiking? You know, I also looked at some of the more conventional 4x4 SUVs. Uh, the Pajero and the Toyota Land Cruiser were both considerations. But again, I was put off by the rather ordinary looks and the sheer size of them. With their big engines, they didn't offer very good fuel consumption, and performance wasn't that great. <laughs> you can say that again. My boss has a 3500 diesel intercooler Pajero, and he says the thing drinks gas at a terrible rate. It is a consideration nowadays, especially with the cost of fuel going up and up. Well, as I say, I think this is going to be the right vehicle for Sally and me. It's all power, so it's very easy to drive and it has both the space and the off-road performance that we're looking for. Well, it looks pretty good. I bet that was a consideration too. Well, who doesn't want to impress his buddies in the car park? You know, one of the things that put me off of the CRV is that three girls in our office have been parked downstairs in the car park. The car is getting a bit of a reputation as a woman's car. The X-Trail looks a lot more macho.